I don't know if we have a target. Um, we got some good kids. We got some good athletes that, that want to play the game, that want to want to do well. You know, they got to come out and they got to do the grind every day. And they do that, they got a chance to be successful. So we're gonna we're gonna continue to do what we do on a daily basis and have a chance to be special. But you know, you got to keep doing the right thing every day. Gabe's just a great all-around person. He's a 4.2 GPA student, honor roll student. Um, he's a good Christian man. Does a good job in the classroom with his teammates. Um, and he's a good football player. You know, 4'5", four, 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 140 at Kansas State uh, a couple weeks ago, 33-inch vertical, great leader. Just He has all the intangibles that you want your quarterback to have. So he's doing a tremendous job for us, going to play a little bit on the defensive side of the ball this year. Dynamic football player. Got an offer from the University of New Mexico. So people are starting to see what, what we, we've known him to be for a long time. Uh, wide receiver return, Marcus Williams. You know, everybody kind of knows who he is. Big target, able to go up and get the football. Um, really started taking a leadership role this spring in the team, really getting competitive in the drills and do, doing a good job of that. He's been on his uh, summer camp tour, uh, seeing some big colleges. He's getting a little bit of attention. We return Adam Cook at tight end, uh, inside receiver, going to be a junior, big body, possession type receiver, able to put his hand on the ground and block some people, able to stand up, run good routes, great hands, great ball skills. Excited to have him back. I uh, got Justice Jackson, 6'5", out on the edge, opposite Marcus, Marcus Williams. Really came a long way this spring. Uh, got a little faster, got quicker, better hands. Uh, he's had a tremendous spring for us. And then Ryan Anderson is going to play a slot receiver for us, free safety. Um, he's just an all-around good football player. Everything he does is good. You know? So we're excited to have him. And then Landry Hayes is going to be carrying the most load at the running back position, along with Nico Papadopoulos. Uh, two guys really strong. Feel good about both of them at the running back position. So we feel like we have some dynamic players. We're, we're going to be able to stretch the field vertically and horizontally uh, at any time in the game. Our linemen, we're, we're really proud of our linemen. They've really committed to, to the grind, as we say, doing everything the right way every single day. Uh, anchored by Nate Garcia, he's our center. You know, he's, uh, he's quiet, he doesn't say much, but you watch him work and you feel like you need to pick it up a little bit just based on his efforts on a daily basis. Um, so he's going to be our center. At our, at our left guard, we're going to have Dimitri Rodriguez. Everybody kind of remembers him. He's a big 300 pounder. Got some nasty to him. Uh, big hand cleaner, big bench. He's our big bench, bench press on the team. Um, then our right, right guard is going to be Santos Taylor, working hard. Um, another big body, he's 6'3", 285. Uh, left tackle, we got a guy named Henry Haddis. You guys learned about him a little bit. Um, he's doing really well. You know, he's, he's growing, starting to come into his own a little bit, gaining some confidence. So we're excited to see what Henry brings to the table, not only on the field, but as a leader in the locker room and doing some things like that. Opposite tackle, we got a guy named Damon Altamirano. Big guy, he's our heavyweight wrestler on our wrestling team. Got a little nasty to him. He, he wants to compete for a starting job. And we got guys nipping at their heels, you know, that, that can play, can compete for a job right now. They could, this could all change at, tomorrow. Anthony Franklin trying to play for us. Get, got a lot better this spring. A lot stronger, a lot faster. Uh, only work ethic, great attitude. Got a guy named Leo Sykes. Just hungry to play. You know, so you take all those guys and you, you put them all together and the, the competition group with your linemen is big. We have some depth, we have some strength. Uh, Sean Davis, our nose guard, hand clean 365 pounds at our night of champions. So he's going to set the bar for the competition in the weight room. And they just they feed off of one another and it's created a real competitive environment. And we're benefiting from it. Guys, you know, we, we graduated uh, five or six, but we return guys with, with lots of experience in the secondary. You know, at safety, we're going to have Marcus Williams, Ryan Anderson, Gabe Ortega. Um, we're going to return both our outside linebackers and Landry Hayes and Rope Henry. You know, two big, strong guys that, that understand how to, how to set an edge on a football team. And then our defensive line, Sean Davis, started as a sophomore for us last year. Big, strong, can, can handle both A-gaps by himself just fine. Um, and our defensive tackles, we can we can play any, any number of people at those positions. we got guys like Hayden Wilson and Brendan Armstead and Leo Sykes that, that really want to play there. And then you always have the opportunity to put big bodies like Dimitri, uh, Henry Haddis, Damon Altamirano. we got, we got all sorts of options. It's, we're blessed to have some depth at those positions. And then at the corner, working in three guys right now, looking at them, a couple underclassmen, and Sean Nieto. Uh, brother of our running back Jesse Nieto last year doing a really good job. He's pretty scrappy 
and then uh, Darian Gonzalez, another underclassman competing for a spot. And then our senior, Desmond Gutierrez, who's really solidified himself at one of those corner positions just as a, as a lockdown corner, a little receiver, uh, leader in the locker room. Does a really good job for us in the secondary. Thank <laughs> you.